In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Let us call to mind our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest St. Joseph Calasans with such charity and patience that he labored tirelessly, tirelessly to educate children and endow them with every virtue. Grant, we pray, that we who venerate him as a teacher of wisdom may constantly imitate him, for he was a co-worker of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your minds suddenly or to be alarmed by either a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the earth. earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord, the Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the earth. earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord, the Lord comes, comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others, blind guides who strain out the, the knot and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside also may be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share with you uh, what we call the examine of consciousness. You know, this is uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola. And I, in the Gospel, I like this uh, phrase, uh, cleanse first the inside. Cleanse the, the inside. Sometimes we worry about the outside, you know, the, and we forget the, the inner life. Right? The, the inside, your, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. I don't know how, how is your prayer in the morning or at night, but I recommend the Ignatian spirituality, five steps. <laughs> Let's see. This is called the Christian insight meditation. Number one, take a moment. I, I recommend it at night. Or, or during the day, but take a moment to become interior, interiorly quiet. So that, that's number one. Number two, give thanks. God, thank you. You know, give, uh, say a prayer of gratitude. I think that's easy. Find a place, find the time, give thanks. Number three, recall the events of the day hour by hour, and note how you felt and what happened, right? Kind, kind of play the movie, your, your own life, hour by hour, for the day or, or for the day before. Number four, you know, ask for forgiveness, contrition and sorrow. And number five, hopeful resolution for the future. I think the, this prayer of St. Ignatius of Loyola will help us to, to go inside, to be a better person inside, you know, to evaluate and, and do a self, you know, conscience evaluation at the end of the day. And again, um, with St. Paul, you may say, I leave the past behind and with hands outstretched to whatever lies ahead, I go straight for the goal.
gathered here to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption, let us ask Almighty God to pour out his mercy upon us. For Francis, our Pope, Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy, that they faithfully serve God's people with untiring zeal, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office, that they be ever faithful to their responsibility of promoting the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the suffering, that they experience the presence of Christ in the midst of their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For men and women who are discerning their vocation, that the Holy Spirit guide and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those from this parish community who have passed from this world, that they be admitted to the glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people so that what they seek at your prompting they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of blessed St. Joseph and St. Louis, be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, and grant that by participation in this mystery, we may reflect the pattern of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, 
we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, the memorial, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, with the blessed apostles and, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May this holy meal give us strength, Almighty God, so that by the example of blessed St. Joseph, Calasans, in St. Louis, we may show in our, in our hearts and by our deeds both fraternal charity and the light of truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.